Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, today, as you can see, I have a Studio Series 86 figure. This is Junk Heap from the uh, 86 Transformers movie. And, you know, I had this from BBTS a couple of uh, a weeks back in early August. So I figure, you know, maybe someone out there may be interested in my take on, on this guy. Uh, this is a... Uh, Figure that's retooled from um, Redgar, which was released earlier in the year, and I think they've done a great job with the retooling. Uh, as far as the packaging, uh, it's just standard Studio 86 packaging. Some really nice artwork, like they always do here on the front and the sides. Um, here's a full character uh, figure. And uh, on the back, of course, you get the uh, butt mode, the alt mode, which is the bike, and then they show you the actual background that comes in. And of course, here they reference the Junkie on Dance Party, right? Which is, uh, they use We're All Yankovics, uh, Dare to be Stupid, and they do go through the whole dance number, which was awesome when I was younger. It's still great to this day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the packaging. And inside you do, you know, in addition to the toy and, and all the uh, things that come with it, you do get uh, this background, which again is very similar to what came with uh, record actually I think it's the exact same um, uh, background so you know as always you can use these for posing I have seen folks use these in their collection like put them in as, as background which I think is really cool I myself don't keep these uh, I guess if I was into fo uh, you know photographing like uh, figures or, or that kind of stuff I may use these but that's something that gets included on there uh, in addition to the figure itself in the box you do get his axe or a pinwheel, as I call it. You can spin it freely. It's really cool. This is pretty much the exact same one that came with Redcar. So if you have that toy, it's the exact same one. Uh, in addition to this, you obviously also do get instructions. The transformation on this guy, uh, it's not anything too complex. Again, if you are familiar with uh, Redcar, this is pretty much the exact same steps other than some minor um, adjustments here with the arms. So yeah, instructions for Junk Heap. And these uh, wheels on the side do come, um, they don't come attached. Uh, they were actually in the back of the inner carton in the box. So uh, you, they kind of just go attached in there. You kind of pull them out and put them on yourself. I know on Record they were uh, directly on the left arm, so you could put them on the right arm and leg. Uh, but on this guy, uh, as per the look and the instructions, they go on both legs as they have them there. Now on to the figure itself. Uh, I've think uh, Hasbro Takara has done a really great job of retooling uh, Redgar into this junk heap uh, toy. Uh, I, you'll see a lot of similarities and I'll go through the comparison once we get to, to that step. Uh, I really do like the whole new head with the horns remind me, they remind me of a, a buffalo. Uh, I don't know why, I guess these, I see these as horns, they're supposed to be the handlebars of the bike mode. Uh, but really cool head sculpt there. I think, again, they've done a, a great job with uh, the retooling of, of Red Car. And the coloring is really nice, too. The brown with the red and the gray and these uh, yellow or gold highlights goes really well. The one main difference, uh, I mean, other than the coloring and the head and, like, these minor spike parts here, uh, are these parts here on the arms where you see all these cool detailing. Uh, these are almost like side panels that go covering on the bike. Uh, it almost looks like, a, I guess, some kind of gun as well. Uh, these were not on Redcar. These are additions specifically to uh, to this figure. Uh, but overall, I am really pleased with the what they've done with, with this figure. Uh, obviously, here's the gas tank. It's a whole different scheme. Redcar had the flames going here. Uh, a bit plain, I guess, because it's all uh, gray in comparison to the red and, and gold flames that Redcar had. But... Again, to differentiate the figures, I, I don't mind that so much. Uh, it's really cool. These wheels here do spin uh, spin freely. Uh, as far as the head, you can turn around. The uh, handlebars here are horns, as I call them. You can move them back. That's part of the transformation. Um, you know, you get full arm, uh, elbow, 90 degrees. The arm, the sorry, the fist. Uh, they do go back in because of the transformation. They tuck into the arms. But uh, the fists actually do rotate as well. That's uh, really cool. Uh, you can fully extend his arms. You can see there's some kind of, uh, I guess, joint-looking thing there, which is kind of cool, right? It's it's not just uh, hollow in there. Uh, these panels here do move up and down like it did on Redcar. You can turn him fully around. That's the thing you wanted to do with the legs. Uh, 
again you can do that much there is some ankle tilt uh, here which is really cool for you to pose him uh, the legs the feet to move this way and overall you know this guy can pretty much uh, stretch as much as you want him to uh, he can do you can get in, you can put him into some really cool poses uh, so the flexibility of posing this guy multiple ways uh, is uh, is definitely there and he does have uh, it's not necessarily ab crunch as part of the transformation but he can look down uh, other than that, I mean, I'm really pleased with this toy. Uh, I guess the only drawback that I would say is his joints, uh, some of the joints at least anyway, like this waist joint on mine is a, it's not fiddly, but it is a bit looser than on my rec car. Uh, the fist here, the, just this whole action of folding them in, not that it matters too much, but uh, on this one, they are looser than they are on my rec car copy. But I think other than that, that would be most of my nitpicks. As I said, this is a really cool retool of um, that toy. And there are ports here. So I guess if you wanted to put him on a stand or, or sort of post him in like a flying or jumping pose, you can also uh, do that. And there's a lot of cool detailing on the chest there. You can see a lot of the line paneling here, the red um, on the legs as well here on the sides you know it's not just plain they added a lot of line work which is pretty cool in uh the back here oh uh, yeah even on a gray like here you could see there's a lot of detailing uh line paneling on the legs etc uh the arms i really do like these spiky things they remind me of uh, um mad max <laughs> like the bad guys would wear like almost like football uh, pads with spikes and stuff so it's really cool that these guys can emulate that um, but really cool and then this almost reminds me of like a shield type thing and this one of a, of a gun so it's a nice addition to to the junkions and the one cool thing that this guy can do and um, you can uh, take him and here's a car in his uh, bike mode and you can he will um, be able to uh, ride um, trying to put him there and you know you could post him etc and he can uh ride he's trying to get him there in a good pose there you go so he can look like he's uh riding and you can reenact a lot of those actions or, or things from the movie the axe also goes in his hand really cool stuff uh but overall can't complain about the figure uh I'll put him on his bot mode and sorry in his alt mode and then we'll sort of do some uh, comparisons from there Okay guys, so here we are back in vehicle mode now with Junk Keep and um, Rekkar. I decided to put both uh, Cup and Hot Rod there on the bike so you guys could see that uh, for the most part any deluxe size uh, figures can not fit on these bikes um, in a good way and they actually look uh, pretty cool. So just want to show that there. Um, I think that's really neat actually. Uh, wish we could have seen something like that in the... Uh, 86 movie so we'll, re we'll remove these guys and then go over really quickly over the uh, the alt mode the vehicle mode so uh, as you guys can see let me put record aside here is a uh, junkie pretty much the exact same transformation as a uh, uh with the only difference being is these are the panels that were on the forearms and they kind of just rotate and get attached to the legs. And I think if anything, it makes the uh, the bike mode a little more uh, feel a little more sturdy, a little more secure. Uh, no complaint to my end. This thing does roll. I mean, this these kind of things kind of get in the way. But uh, other than that, I mean, yes. Yeah, if you have rec car, if you have them in bike mode, if you transformed them into bike mode, this is the exact same um, transformation. Uh, I do like, obviously, you know, the, the color differences between the, the two. You can attach his uh, pinwheel axe thing on the back here. There is a port for it. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm really happy with this bike mode. As I said, and here he is uh, next to a rec car. Uh, there's the uh, two Junkion um, in their um, alt mode. Um, as you guys can see pretty much the differences and similarities. Most of it is the obvious, the forearms here these panels and then obviously then there's uh, the coloring right but uh overall really cool i think if you like a uh, red car you'll definitely um oh, definitely definitely like uh junk heap which is really cool to then be able to put a whole bunch of uh junkions together right uh and then just uh for kicks here is uh the combiner wars um red car 
in case anyone's interested I mean these um, so much smaller this was also a combiner for whatever reason but really cool out modes and then we'll probably just head up and uh, close the video all right guys so just to wrap up the video here uh, I would definitely recommend this guy especially if you're trying to put together a whole uh, 86 Transformers movie uh, collection is a very well put toy they've done such a great job with the retooling uh, no major issues at least on my copy um, you guys could see them there uh, really cool that we're able to just grab the red card mode and just pretty much uh, give us this uh, junk heap retool. My understanding is that we may get more or at least one more uh, junk heap out of this mold. So that'd be pretty cool to be able to perhaps army build, uh, make that an option. Uh, as far as comparisons, here he is next to uh, Rekkar, which again is his mold mate. And you could see some of the similarities and differences. The whole chest uh, section there is different. Um, obviously different head um, and the panels on the arms but other than that all the other differences are like coloring um, differences um, and you know you guys can see there at the back uh, records got the red with the gold flames and we got not uh, the flame gray there uh, but these two look uh, really cool together uh, for whatever reason you wanted to do a comparison to the uh, combiner wars uh, mold of a red car there there you go uh, you know no comparison there granted this is a pretty old figure and it was compromised by the fact that it needed to be a combiner um, toy or a retool of a mold that was used for a combiner figure anyway uh, but yeah there you go as far as comparisons but as I said I'm really happy with this one um, so we'll just continue with the video we'll close it out probably this way here's a comparison with uh bumblebee if that's your thing so you could see what the difference is there in height here he is next to uh studio series uh 86 um cup so you guys could see the differences there i didn't realize how massive uh size wise in comparison there are to these guys but here you go here he is next to hot rod 86 uh movie series line again really cool that you're able to put these two together and then lastly uh because they helped uh put magnus back together i figure why not here you go there he is next to the absolute unit that is ultra magnus but really cool nonetheless a uh, really cool figure i think it'll make a great addition to anyone's transformers collection um i think it's definitely worth it if you can get your hands on the junk heap maybe your uh, army building maybe you're just a completist like me hopefully we do end up getting uh more uh junkions at least i don't care if they're retools as long as they make they do a good job like they did with junk heap here then uh definitely i think it's a step in the right direction there but uh other than that do not have much else to say uh if you stuck out to the end of the video thank you very much for your uh very um uh, you know appreciative of you spending your time your very valuable time with me uh otherwise you know enjoy the rest of your day be safe out there be nice to each other and um feel free to leave a comment Take care.